This is the BOD test. Normally when a sample comes into the laboratory, you have a fair idea about the type of wastewater it is. In this particular case, we assume that the wastewater has a concentration somewhere between 2 and 600, which means that we have to dilute it 1 is 200. How we normally do this is in two parts. We first of all, as per the sheet, measure out 100 millimetres and, and place it into the uh, cylindrical container. We then dilute that, as per the table, up to 1000 millimetres. This gives us a dilution range of 1 is to 10. And remember that the dilution range we're looking for is 1 is to 100. What we then do with the sample that's diluted 1 is to 10 is that we dilute it uh, again. We first of all place 100 millimeters into the container. And following this, what we do is that we dilute it, again just using distilled water, up to 1 litre. So it means now that the entire sample dilution is 1 is to 100. The reason why we do these large ranges mixing large volumes, is the fact that the accuracy is normally better. What we then do is that we fill the diluted sample, one is to hundred, into the container that you see there. These are the classical type of containers in which BOG is usually measured. We have to make sure to fill it right up to the top, so even though there's some spillage, that's absolutely fine. We sometimes put in a study control. The study control is literally just water. No biological changes should happen to that water over the duration of the five day study. And again, we make sure to fill it right up to the top. We then use a dissolved oxygen probe this is a probe that takes a measurement of the dissolved oxygen in any water body at any given time. We place it into both containers. The first container, the container on the right that you see there, is the diluted wastewater sample. We normally have to wait for a few minutes for the dissolved oxygen measurement to stabilise. Between both containers, it's very important to make sure that you rinse the um, the probe. This is to avoid cross-contamination. And again we take the measurement exactly as before. We then make sure to top up both samples, both with our diluted wastewater and with the distilled water. And then we place the cap on the container. After five days we come back and again repeat the measurement, measure the dissolved oxygen of both containers and we use those data to give us a measurement of the BOG of the wastewater sample. This method has been superseded though in recent years by another method and the other method is called an oxytop method. This method is much more accurate and is easier to conduct. It just comprises a container that you see there with a little measurement uh, piece of apparatus on the top of the container. And it's at the top of the container that we take the measurement of the BOG. In the case of the wastewater sample, that we've made the assumption that its concentration lies between 2 and 600 milligram per litre. And what the oxytop method does is that it gives us a guide for that, as you can see on the table here. In this case, we assume that the measuring range is somewhere between 2 and 600. So in this case, we'd say 0 to 400 is a good enough range. And then what we do is that it tells us that we dilute the sample from, uh, or we place 164 millimetres into the sample.
Again, that 164 millimeters is measured out very uh, accurately. And then that is placed inside in the container. There is no other dilution or anything required. It's just the raw sample that's actually placed directly into the container. Once we do this, we put a magnetic stirrer in the base. And then what we do is we place a rubber quiver on the top. And into that rubber quiver, we place two sodium hydroxide tablets, which is not illustrated here. Once we do that, we put the container, or we'll put the lid on top of the container, make sure that it's tight. And finally, what we do is that we have to zero it by pressing down the two buttons that you see there. It's important to make sure zero displays. And then what we do is that we place it on top of the unit that we see there. This unit has a magnetic bar at the base, and it basically allows the sample itself to be mixed right throughout the five day of the experiment. At the end of the five days, we come back and we take a measurement of uh, the BOG of the sample just by pressing the button to the right that's labelled M there. And the table that I showed you previously gives us a dilution factor. So in the case of whatever value we get on that um, unit, we just multiply it by a factor of 10 and that gives us the BOG concentration in milligrams per litre.